baseball. Although it is known as America's pastime, it is played all over the world. One of the countries it is played in is Japan. Introduced to Japan in the 1870s, baseball is now one of the most popular sports there. Horace Wilson, a professor at the Kaisei School, thought his students needed more exercise, so he taught them how to play. The sport gained so much popularity, all the colleges in Japan started teams. Teams from the U.S., like the New York Giants and the Chicago White Sox, started taking tours of Japan, playing college teams in exhibition games. In 1934, future Hall of Fame inductees such as Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig went on a tour of Japan playing 18 games against the Japanese All-Star team. Although the U.S. won all of the games, the already high popularity of baseball skyrocketed in Japan. In Japan, the game is played by the same rules. There is one exception, however. Games end in a tie after 12 innings of play in the regular season and 15 in the postseason. There are some technical differences. The season is 144 games compared to the MLB's 162. Due to the size of Japan, there are only 12 teams, so only 6 make it to the playoffs. Most teams are not named after the city they are in, but the company that owns them. For example, the SoftBank Hawks located in the southwestern province of Fukuoka, are owned by a cellular provider, and the Yakult Swallows from Tokyo are owned by a yogurt producer. One exception is the Hiroshima Carp. It is the culture of play that makes Japanese baseball so unique. In the early 20th century, most baseball games were played between rival colleges. Because of this, the spirit of the game wasn't to make money or become famous, it was to make the school that a person played for the best that it could be. Competition was fierce, and the will to win was very strong, so coaches did what they had to do to make sure their team won. Players would take hundreds of swings during practice, and pitchers would throw close to 300 pitches, three times what a normal pitcher would throw on average per game. Although practices today are not as severe, many ideals of perseverance and never-ending hard work still show in Japanese players. Not only is the culture of the players different, the fans act differently as well. One of the biggest differences is the Oeda. These people sing chants for their players when they come up to bat. Normally seated in the outfield, they stay the whole game whether their team is winning or losing. The away team also assembles an Oeda to show up to games in opposing team stadiums. The average fans participate in the chants as well. However, they are not nearly as enthusiastic as the away team. I interviewed some fans about their reasons for coming to games. The concessions are mostly Japanese bento boxes, but there are some Western foods, like hamburgers, sold at the stadium. Young women sell beer and sake to people in the stands, which is a very uncommon practice in the U.S. As we can see, there are many differences and similarities between U.S. and Japanese baseball. Although the two play by the same rules, what's outside the field, the culture is very different. I am very glad I have been able to experience both types of baseball.